Hi, I'm Kirk Evans, president of U.S. Law Shield. We're here today to talk about a recent ruling on carrying firearms in the U.S. Post Office. So in January of 2024, U.S. District Judge Catherine Mizell out of the Middle District Court of Florida, federal court, ruled that as applied to a gentleman named Mr. Ayala, uh, carrying a firearm into a U.S. postal uh, facility was permitted and that the law holding the opposite was unconstitutional. So there's several reasons why this may not apply to uh, other folks who might be gun owners and who might want to take their firearms into a U.S. post office. So number one, this is a ruling out of a federal district court for the Middle District of Florida. There are other district courts and other districts in Florida, and the other districts in Florida do not necessarily have to follow this decision. The judges in those uh, districts might rule exactly the opposite. And then in addition, uh, every other federal district or court around the country does not have to follow this decision either. The courts might rule the exact opposite. The courts might say, well, I like that logic and issue a very similar ruling, um, but they do not have to follow it as what's called precedent right now. So number two is there has been no final uh, ruling as far as the courts of appeals. This case is almost certainly going to be appealed and the circuit court could easily overturn this case or it could uphold the case. And then, even after that ruling, there could be what's called a rehearing uh, at the circuit court level, and then there could be an appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court. So until we have some finality as to what the law is on this subject, um, we would highly, highly suggest do not take your firearm into a U.S. post office, even in the Middle District of Florida. Finally, the third reason uh, you may not want to carry a firearm into a U.S. post office right now is the challenge here was called an as-applied challenge. And what that means is Mr. Ayala was a worker for the U.S. Post Office. He said the law was unconstitutional as applied to me, not just generally unconstitutional. And the court went out of its way to note that U.S. postal workers can be subject to violence or threats or theft or things like that, and that they might want to carry firearms around for self-defense. The court did not um, rule that as applied to customers or folks who go in to mail things or get stamps, um, that the law was unconstitutional as applied to them. And so this specific ruling right now does not even necessarily apply to average folks who might want to go into U.S. post office. The logic probably does, but we do not know until we have had further decisions, for further rulings perhaps from other courts or the courts of appeals um, to have this ironed out. So right now our best advice is do not carry a firearm uh, into a U.S. post office, particularly as a customer, um, even if you live in the Middle District of Florida. The U.S. Postal Service has issued a press release after this ruling and said they are not changing their policy. So you can be arrested, charged, even face a trial, spend time, headache, heartache, and money defending yourself, even though this one court has made this one ruling about the constitutionality of bringing firearms into U.S. post offices. Now, the good news is, as a U.S. Law Shield member, if you have any questions about carrying your firearm into a post office, or if you're a postal worker and want to know, hey, does this apply to me? Can I carry my firearm on the job? Anywhere in the United States, your membership entitles you to call in, ask to speak to the independent program attorney in your state at no additional charge whatsoever, and they can walk you through this decision or any of the likely follow-up decisions that we're going to see out of the various courts around the country. So if you are a member, have any questions whatsoever, do not hesitate to call in and ask to speak to the independent program attorney in your state. Thank you again for watching.